Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, graduates, guests, colleagues and friends. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the 2020 Paramedical Sciences graduation ceremony here at University College Cork. Today signals a special and significant milestone in the lives and careers of our graduates and indeed their families. Not only are you joining the National Ambulance Service as frontline operational paramedics, but you are also joining an established global network of UCC alumni. 2020 has been an unprecedented, challenging year for Ireland and indeed globally. Testament to your resilience, commitment and determination, you have all prevailed. I would now like to ask our Dean of Medicine at UCC, Professor Paula O'Leary, to address you all. I'm very pleased to welcome you, our graduates of the Level 7 Diploma in Paramedical Sciences, Class of 2020, and your guests, as well as our educational and healthcare partners, to your conferring ceremony on behalf of the faculty and staff of the School of Medicine and of University College Cork. This is a year like no other in living memory. And this is a conferring ceremony presented in a way in which none of us could have imagined just 12 short months ago. I acknowledge that the graduation day is a milestone day. And while we cannot be together physically, I emphasize that the significance of this conferring and the value of the qualification conferred on all of you today is in no way diminished. Indeed, your achievement in the throes of the most disruptive pandemic in living memory should be applauded. UCC School of Medicine recognises the value to the overall health system of developing programmes to support and enhance knowledge, skills and academic research capability and activities in pre-hospital healthcare personnel and for pre-hospital health care. I am pleased that the shared vision and efforts of our UCC team, Professor Stephen Cusack, recently retired Chair in Emergency Medicine, Dr. Adrian Murphy, our Medical Director of this programme, and Mr. David Hick, Programme Coordinator for the Paramedical Programmes, ably assisted by Ms. Carol Savage, our Administrator in collaboration with our clinical and service partners at the National Ambulance Service College and the National Ambulance Service, has led to development of this successful programme. You were now one of 130 graduates of this programme since its inception in 2017. I'm particularly heartened to see the academic opportunities expand and it is noteworthy that in response to recognised need in the area of pre-hospital care education, UCC has developed and launched programmes for existing personnel to undertake Level 8 Honours degrees and more recently Level 9 Advanced Paramedic and Community Paramedic programmes, again working in close association with the National Ambulance Service College. UCC has recently recruited a senior academic paramedical professional to take up the role of senior lecturer in paramedical sciences and will also recruit senior academic medical clinical personnel in emergency medicine with emphasis on the importance of the pre-hospital care area within the roles. The shared paramedicine programmes with National Ambulance Service College recognise the integral roles which paramedical pre-hospital care personnel can and will play as our national health system develops under the objectives of Slaunter Care. I wish you well as you continue to serve the Irish population with your professional skills and competencies. I look forward to you coming back to UCC at times in the future to further advance those skills. I assure you that we at UCC are working to ensure that our academic programmes will offer you and the pre-hospital care community world-class, patient-focused education and training. 
Congratulations on your achievements. Thank you, Professor O'Leary. Now the names of all graduates will be called in alphabetical order by Mr. Dave Hick, Program Coordinator of Paramedical Sciences at UCC. Mark Burke. Connor Carrig. Brendan Cody. Maria Patricia Colbert. Orla Considine. Helena Mary Corcoran. Orla Cronin. Niall Richard Cruz Michael Howard Cullen Adrian Gerard Dalton Kieran Daly Dara Delves Christopher James Dewhurst Laura Donoghue Jason James Doyle Alexandra Draflova Avine Maria Ferris Anna Marie Theresa Fitzgerald, Tommy Gallagher, Stephen Michael Gilman, Rochelle Anne Griffin. Kevin Hurahan Cahal Keevany James Martin Kelly Sarah Kempel Christopher Lenigan Connor Paul Little Jonathan Redmond Lynch Michael Lynch Dominica Hannah Marciniak Stephen Thomas McCabe Maraid Anne McDevitt Catherine Elizabeth McMahon Fergus McCormack Leanne McGinley Ross Murphy Maeve O'Brolicon Marilyn O'Connor Shane Paul O'Hanlon Zeta Susan Power Seamus Noel Redmond
Tiernan Regan. Anne-Marie Riley. Rebecca Elizabeth Rigney. R.L. Viorel Roman. Gemma Teresa Ruan. Mark Tobin. Kira Bernadette White. David Thomas Yor. Congratulations to you all. I would now like to ask Mr. Martin Dunn, Director of National Ambulance Service, to address you all. Hello everyone, and I'm delighted to get this opportunity to be able to say congratulations and well done to each and every one of you on what you've achieved to get you here today. I know it's been a case of hard work, dedication and focus to make sure that you've achieved the ultimate outcome becoming a paramedic within the National Ambulance Service. And I suppose in this new world that we're operating in, it's just unfortunate that due to the circumstances of COVID-19, we're not able to be there in person to actually congratulate each and every one of you as far as that achievement. However, as I said already, congratulations and well done. This is only the starting point in your career within the National Ambulance Service. And going forward, I wish you every success in whatever part of the career pathway you decide to use whilst within the National Ambulance Service. It's a very exciting time at the moment in the National Ambulance Service uh, because we're going through a huge change trans and transformation to ensure that the care that we're delivering to our patients is most modern and best practice and what the patient actually requires. We're now going into the, the community paramedic area, we're going into critical care paramedic area, we're going into flight paramedic areas, which again are all new and exciting adventures across the National Ambulance Service and hopefully each and every one of you will have an opportunity if you so desire to become part or, or work with any of those areas within the service delivering high-end care to our patients. And it's very important that we always remember that whilst we're dealing with patients on a continuous basis they're actually people and we need to always remember to treat our people, our patients, with the dignity and respect that they deserve because after all Whilst they may not want you there, they most certainly need you there. And in some cases, they're actually placing their life in your hands. And it's not too many jobs on this earth that people are actually in a position to influence the outcome of people's lives going forward. And I need you to remember that. Also, going forward, we should always remember too that the job that we do sometimes is not always pleasant and sometimes we have bad days. When we have bad days, we just always remember that we have supports available to you within the National Ambulance Service. I would encourage each and every one of you to utilise and or use these supports if you so need so, because that's what they're there for. They're there for to make sure that you can talk to somebody when you need to talk to somebody about things that may have happened that you feel that have an impact on yourself. And as people say, it's good to talk. So please use them and don't forget that. Also, I should, we should also probably take this opportunity to, to remember that so far, the support that you get got from your family, spouses, partners and friends to make sure that you were able to get to where you are today. And I also know that this support will also be given to you as you move forward in your daily life within the National Ambulance Service. And I think we should say thank you to each and every one of them for that support and don't forget that support. So in conclusion, you're going out there and you're now going to be an ambassador for the National Ambulance Service, an ambassador for the HSE and an ambassador for yourself. And I always want you to remember to stay proud of what you've achieved, proud of what you do and proud of the service that you work for. And I wish you every success, health and wealth as you move forward in your career. Again, congratulations and well done. And if you're having some celebrations, please be safe. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. The ceremony is now concluded. On behalf of the UCC National Ambulance Service College's faculty, we wish you well for your future.
and sincerely hope that we may see many of you in UCC in the years ahead. Thank you. Thank you.